Somehow. Looks like we're on a tanker car. This thing's probably carrying rocket fuel for that shuttle launch everyone's been talking about. You think Dominique's on this train? The Special Forces are the ones who kidnapped her. Dominique's in Mercado by now. Oh, really? You seem to know a lot about this, Volt. Damn. They know we're here? After that mess we made back there, yes. We may have intruders in the last car. Investigate at once. Remember, no guns. We're transporting rocket fuel. You got that, Echidna? Roger. We've got company. They're stowaways. Make sure you give them an appropriate welcome. out here is there any way to get in guess there's no point in hiding how convenient I was looking to get warmed up they're gonna tell me where Dominique is whether they like it or not better take him out before my backup gets here Wait, Scion, what move was that? <laughs> hey, bud. What move was that? Powerful move. That was my bloodline technique. <laughs> <laughs> I learned it by watching Street Fighter. <laughs> From my favorite character, the ultimate badass, Dan Hibiki. <laughs> So, uh, this train is kind of where you're starting to see a lot of problems with Fault, because, uh, there is so little space on this train that whenever Fault tries to grab anyone, uh, it doesn't work, so he just kind of slips and falls off on the ground. <laughs> oh, guess I'll die. <laughs> well, thank goodness for the invisible walls, like, you can't actually fall off this train. Yeah, thank God for these invisible walls, yeah. so I can throw these people <laughs> off and have fun. I guess that's yeah, true, too. It's... You know, risk reward. <laughs> well, good game design would be invisible walls for you, no invisible walls for them, more guys. If you don't have a ticket, you're gonna have to pay. And this ride ain't cheap. Where did you take Dominique? So nice to see you again, Echidna. Is that you, Volt? I thought I finished him off. Indeed. But I'm not the Volt you once knew. Now it's your turn to take a trip to hell. This time, I'll make sure I finish you off, along with your friends. Then come get some, Echidna. I don't think so. You'd be such a hottie if only you kept your mouth shut. So, uh, Knuckles here is actually kind of a bitch for Volt to fight against because she knows Capoeira, and that means Volt can just not grab her. Yeah, Break yeah, dancing! Yeah. Volt, aka the dude who has to be able to go in and get in and has no, like, tools to be there. Yeah, just area of denial against him seems pretty bullshit. <laughs> Did he just drop her? Like, what? Yeah, that's that's what happens when you can't do a grab. You yeah, just like, drop her. He's oh, trying to rules. grapple, but it doesn't work, so she just ragdolls. 
Yeah, I mean, that's one defensive technique, you know, just become <laughs> dead weight. You know, it, it's shocking how much 160 pounds when there's no support under it and it's awkward is kind of a pain to hold. I feel like you should just be doing that, like, shoulder charge. Like, that seems to be the only move you can hit with. Don't worry, I can also miss the body slam and whatever that was. Yeah, this, this is some hot moves. You said these are contact sensitive, so is it just like the four face buttons or four different attacks? Or how does uh, how's the controls so go? It's four face buttons, and also sometimes there's special moves that you buy. You uh, have to press L1 and then certain button combinations do stuff. Okay. Except also, if you tap the four face buttons, you do an entirely different attack. Oh. Oh no, do they do like pressure sensitive buttons like Yes, that? they do. Oh, oh why that's would you cool. do that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, this game's awesome. What's the matter, Echidna? I'm still standing. You're still a jerk, Bolt. What do you want with Dominique? You would be such a babe if you weren't trying to kick our butts. It's not over yet. I'll teach you a thing or two about a woman's wrath. The next time we meet. Bold, what happened between you two? I think we'll save story time for later. She's here. Station, we're all gonna be a lot warmer. Let's detach the last car. Uh, Leanne, can you say overkill? Lock with a card key. And where are we going to get this card key? It's probably in the engineer's cab. But the cargo's in the way. Then we better find one in this car. Hey, what if we don't find one? We're toast. Every time you do that edit, right, it's just, sometimes it's at points where it just looks like it's a really bad poppin' and I really like that. <laughs> I really like how it's the three of them just delivering their one-liners all in a row, so it kind of looks like one of them did it and the other one was like, oh, me too, wait. <laughs> wait, no, I, wait, shit, I got one. And wait, I shit, helped. I have one for this. You have to get a key card here, <laughs> except that red box there, that red box over there. It is so finicky. We're out of time already? Damn! Oh man! Please let this be a 
bad dream? Jumping off as soon as we reach the station. And we're going to be flooded in just a moment. This is a little bit of a mini dungeon here. You have to go to like these three floors and just kick the shit out of any security guards. Oh man, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Just like my other favorite yeah. uh, beat em up game, Baroque. Here it goes! <laughs> See, I'm not much of a uh, Baroque head. I touch you just pop like uh, steampunk robots in there. Well, yeah, but it's like a dungeon crawling roguelike. Yeah, no one actually knows what you do in Baroque. It's fine. <laughs> That's, it's, it's all made up. It's not a real game. <laughs> wow, great contribution, future friends. There's no time to waste. Uh -huh. That's the most powerful move in this game. That one where you just stretch out your arms. <laughs> It's fast, and it does a shitload of damage, and I'm gonna abuse it as much as I can. Alright, you've said a lot of things, these things in, in this game are fast, and I don't believe any of them. <laughs> oh, this Rendicop has a black jacket. He's yeah. the commander! Well, oh my god. I mean, chirps, you do have to remember that I speed up my commentary three times every time after recording. <laughs> so it's all relative. <laughs> I love the body slam so much. Oh. I love the part where he looks like he's getting set up to do to just like do a down rock during his his breakdance sesh, but then he like gets bored halfway through it. Like he just does like two <laughs> sweeps and he's like, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough breakdancing oh. for now. Back to fighting. That's because that's when you can actually cancel the attack. Otherwise, he's literally just gonna do it in a circle forever. <laughs> I, I I thought that was still part of a cutscene. <laughs> I didn't realize that you had gotten control. Do you have control through that whole bit where you're running? I can't tell the way yes. it like fades in and out. Okay, I thought this was all like cutscene stuff in between rooms. You have to run away from the four shutters and then do nothing for ten seconds. It's great. So, uh, one great thing, when you save that train, uh, the shutters still activate, you know? But they still have the exact same angles, like you're supposed to run away from lightning speed, like, lightning fast away from it all. Yeah, of course. Oh, whoa! It's really not harder. Okay, is that Dragon Punch invincible? Uh, that Dragon Punch is not invincible, as I have gotten kicked to the dick many times doing it. <laughs> I feel like Koba's not really pulling his weight here. <laughs> like, Volt at least tries to body slam people after you knock him down. Volt, or Koba's just kind of there. I mean, you see him doing his cool uppercut. Yeah. Well, see, Andy, here's the problem. Koba doesn't pull his weight when you're playing as him either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And also, he sucks as a human being, so... <laughs> He's still you know. thinking about that hot babe. 
Oh man, this game's camera is great. I can tell exactly where you're going at all times and am never confused with these exact same goddamn hallways. That's why you have arrows pointing you towards the exit on these walls. <laughs> <laughs> is it a manual camera? I... Um, it's a manual camera, but in these cramped corners, it is very impossible to move them around. Mm. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. It may good. as well just be locked. It, that's that's what it looks like based on the way it's like snapping too. The best part too is the snapping just like changes angles so dramatically. Oh, wonderful. So that's the most powerful move is that little that little backhand little backhand yes. slap. <laughs> hmm. uh, the big problem is that I'm pretty sure the level in AI of the enemy is actually scale ready with like how much XP you put into things. So uh, the AI meaning of course that it's gonna last fucking forever. <laughs> I like games where you can level up and get really powerful, but then it's n you don't actually get to experience ever being powerful because the enemies just match you anyway. That's great. Well, also, Future Friends on New, new Game Plus 15 or whatever the fuck, like... Yeah, but I mean, old, old New Game Pluses didn't work that way usually. They weren't like another difficulty. New Game Plus was just, you get to play through again with your stuff. Well, that's the power of the PS2. Yeah, yeah, the power of the PS2, it can, it can, yeah, the emotion engine, it can fucking ruin I mean, everything, I guess. <laughs> people loved it when Dark Souls did it, why don't they love it when this game does it? Why must we always crush the hopes and dreams of the developers of Erica's God bless the rain? <laughs> Are they still together? Could they make a The Bouncer 2? <laughs> See, here's the thing, I actually looked this up as a little bit of research. I don't fucking know, they haven't released a game since like 2006, but they're not bankrupt, they're not defunct, so I don't know Ready? what the hell they've been doing in 10 years. So, so what you're saying is Air Guys 2 is coming out this year. Let's be real, they probably were all forced to work on Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> well, what I, was, what I was gonna say is, if they haven't been around since about the time Final Fantasy XIII Verse is going, An emergency exit. Does it lead outside? This is the only exit, man. We don't have much of a choice. Must be looking for us. Out of the frying pan and into the fire, eh? What now? We'll hitch a ride. Oh, what a wonderful idea. So, should we just go up to them and say please? We'll look for a chance to jump on. It's going to be a long shot. Now! This is insane. What the hell? Were you looking for us? Sorry, but we're taking this air carrier. We're the punks you're looking for. Ugh. Classic Star Wars reference. Ugh, <laughs> I appreciate the shit-eating grin he had after he said that. He's so proud of that line. <laughs> Guys, look, I did a reference, just like Family Guy. <laughs> <laughs> Which is something Ko also loves. That's great, Ko. <laughs> Absolutely. We'll put it on the fridge next to the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Ko got a back to two of Brian the dog when he died. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one who started that GoFundMe. <laughs> 
Hey, Sion, did you see that new family guy? Oh man, Brian said something really funny, and it was also true. The ship's ours. It was nothing personal. It's a tough job, isn't it? And so was mine. Hey. Yes? Keep flying this thing. Y yes, sir. Dominique! Yo, driver, drop us off over there. He got away. Volt, you scared him. You passed it. Damn it. 